emotional quality to them. How is this one today, Mrs. Honig? Had a little emotional. Well, you're playing someone who you're familiar with, Maria, and then you're playing the young American, Katie McNally, and today it seems a little more business as usual for you. Oh, yeah, I was, you know, had to go out there in business, but I think I tried to do that with all three matches thus far. Um, but yeah, it was just different because I know that um, she could play today. I knew what she could do. Yeah. Sharita, there's such a flood of talented young American players in the game. Is, is that the Williams effect of female players? Is that, is that the Williams effect? I mean, do people come up and talk to you about that? Or, or do your kids come up and tell you? <laughs> I can't be presumptuous and say that's because of me, you know. <laughs> Um, I think it's these young women and their parents and their coaches really want them to do something amazing. And I think tennis is a great sport for females, and it's a great way to showcase your personality, be yourself, make a great living, and still do something that you absolutely love. Yeah. Hey, Serena, uh, a little while ago, an incredibly important and powerful figure in American culture, um, the the writer, the imaginative writer, Toni Morrison, passed on. Um, I presume uh, you may be familiar with her work and, or even had contacts with her. Uh, any, any comments, please, on, on her legacy? Yeah, she was a great writer and a great advocate. And, um, you know, she, it was a tough loss for everyone a couple, like a couple weeks ago. Um, and, you know, just someone, an icon like that, that means so much to not only African-American culture, but just culture in general and the things that she wrote and the literature that she was a part of is really, is really something that will definitely live on forever. Well, Serena, what is most striking to you about Coco Gauff on court and her effect on all the people who seem to be drawn to her? Um, I, I think she's just incredibly talented, you know, and I think anyone that's 15 playing like that is, people are going to be drawn to them, and I think that's what, that's pretty awesome. What sense do you have among the players that you're around about their interest in her compared to other players? One player from Australia was in here a little while ago who said he thinks everybody's riveted, basically. Um... Well, yeah, I guess. I don't I don't really know. I, I really think she's pretty cool, and I love her excitement on the court. I don't know what everyone else thinks. I can only tell you what I think. Um, I'm a big fan of hers. I've always said that since day one. I love her parents, and I think, um, you know, she has a good family, and I think it starts there, and it makes for a great, a great athlete and a great person. Left side. Uh, Olympia is almost two. Um, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about how it's changed in this last year. Uh, you know, she's. Is it easier for you guys to, for you two, to separate and come back together? Is it easier for you to schedule? It's like the working mom part of you. Is it? Is that part of it just getting a little easier for you now that she's a little? older and more aware that, okay, your mom's going to work now for a few hours, but mom's coming back, or, you know. Talk it's different. That. It's um, In the beginning, she would really be upset when I left, and now she's a little bit better. I, I think I'm a little more upset. Um, <laughs> but at the, same, at the same time, she definitely still takes it a little hard. She's still super young. Yeah. Um, and... You know, it's hard. Sometimes my heart literally aches when I'm not around her. But, um, you know, it's it's good for for me, I guess, to keep working and just to tell moms out there that, you know, it's not easy. It, it's really kind of painful sometimes, but um, it's sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. Are there easier one, things? One question. Oh, sorry. Yeah. One Serena, you gave the uh, fans an A-plus for their support of you today. How would you grade your and what do you need to do to get to the next level? I don't know. I, like I said on the court, I don't know how I would grade my performance and just got to keep playing and believing. Uh, I understand you'll be coming back to New York after the tournament for Advertising Week. Um, I was wondering if you could just talk a little bit about what the... Uh, what? Oh, sorry. I thought I read you were going to be part of the Advertising Week, but I, that could be misinformation. What's Advertising Week? Oh, oh okay. Sorry. Barbara. 
sorry for you, Kayla, for you don't celebrate birthdays, but the next time you step on the court, it'll be two years um, since you became a mom. And I just want to know, do you reflect at that time, like, how much your life has changed in those two years? Um, I, yeah, I don't really think about it, but, you know, it's cool. I think two years ago it was had things attached to my arm, IVs, and it was um, a miracle that happened, having my baby, and um, it was really a great day for me, and then it all went downhill. <laughs> it all went downhill after that for a good five days, but I'm here, and uh, I'm going to be reflecting on my opponent more than anything, um, so yeah. coming up at the same time the tournament is going on. Can you tell us a little bit about, like, I mean, those are two different things to be concentrating on at the same time. Um, and Fashion Week is its own, like, brand of craziness. Um, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about just, like, thinking about and getting ready for that show as you're also process reading and focusing on your tennis at the same time? I'm trying to separate it as much as I can. I have built a pretty good team around me. We're a really small team, um, and I'm currently the acting CEO of the company. Um, and, you know, I'm obviously super hands-on, so right now I'm actually working on the order of what I want the outfits to go down as, uh, which is shocking. And last night I was making notes on alterations on the fit model, and... <laughs> And I'm like, okay, Serena, you make sure you stay focused on your tennis, but also I have to, I do want to have a successful brand and I do want, you know, my company to continue to do well and to continue to um, be great. And our, our slogan is be seen, be heard. So um, it, it's going to be a really unique show. Um, I have some ideas that I had thought of that we're going to implement and I'm excited for it, but at the most Part when I'm on tennis, I'm definitely dedicated to tennis, but I'm definitely going to go home and lay out on a, I have a huge board where I'm going to lay out the order of the show. All the way in the back. Serena, you've been on the tour for the better part of two decades. What is the toughest thing about being on tour right now? Um, honestly, the toughest thing right now is being away from my daughter. That's the only thing that's tough, so... Um, like I said, some days when I'm away, because usually I'm with her, like I can train really early in the morning and be done pretty early with my day, and I can just stay with her for the rest of the day. But in tournament schedule, it's totally different, so I'm kind of pushed out of my usual day-to-day -day life, and it's like, oh, my God, I'm not with her. So that's been the most, I mean, the toughest thing I've ever dealt with in my career. Nice to the <laughs> you, you said you were thinking about bringing with you to the yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm just really focusing on this tournament right now. I really don't know. I would love to take her there more than anything, but um I'm just gonna be around, so we'll see. Wondering what you make of the matchup between Coco Golf and Naomi. Osaka tomorrow night, and, and whether you think you might have any interest in watching either. I think it'll be a really interesting match. I definitely am interesting to watch for sure. Um, what do I make of it? I don't know. I think it's super exciting tennis. Coco obviously is much, much younger than Naomi, if you could say that, because Naomi's incredibly young. <laughs> <laughs> but it's shocking to say that Coco is about six years younger. So, um, you know, I definitely think it's the future of women's tennis, and I, um, I'm really excited to, to just be a fangirl and kind of watch.